Welcome back guys to another plan with me. So this week I'm actually doing a plan with me that you guys have been waiting for for so long and it's with leftover stickers. So I've got quite a hoard of it here, there was quite a lot to sort through but I thought I would just go ahead and use leftover stickers this week. So the first thing that I've done was go through all of the stickers and just put them into piles of headers, full boxes, half boxes, washi strips and kind of split them up and that way it was easier for me to see what I've got and what kind of colours went with each other. This did take quite a while but it was going to make my life a lot easier and the mess you guys when I was doing this I honestly had 50 stickers spread out all over the floor around me and this plan with me actually took a lot longer than usual because obviously you haven't got a full kit so you're kind of having to go back and forth between some kits so the headers that I decided to go with I think these ones are from Planable Designs and whenever I used her kit I must have used either washi or some glitter headers because I had nearly a full set of headers which was actually good for me and good for this plan with me so I kind of just stuck with those headers throughout this spread so I put the todays down along the top and then I was looking for a half box that would work and I went with this green one because there is some green in my planner at the weekend on the page so I wanted to bring in a little bit of green as well and this was to mark down my plan with me that I wanted to upload so I just put a little happy pop it down and I also got an Etsy delivery as well on this day I'm actually expecting quite a few Etsy orders so if you guys want to see an Etsy haul then let me know and I will film that for you so I just put down two pieces of washi and then this glitter quarter box then I looked through all of my icons and I found this shopping basket one which I think is from Vintage Rose Studios and then obviously I just wrote on there to upload my plan with me and that my Etsy delivery was coming. Next I went back to the same header sheet and just put down a to do and then I was looking for a checklist but I didn't want it to be too matching because I knew the rest of the spread wasn't going to be matching so I ended up taking a blue heart checklist just to write down everything that I wanted to do and then on this sheet here which is from Vintage Rose Studios there was a little washing machine icon so I decided to use that with a small page flag to write down that I have also got to do some laundry. And the green spray bottle icon is also from the Vintage Rose Studio, they were like on the same sheet. And then um, next I put down my little things headers and then I was trying to decide what I was going to use for TV programs because there wasn't any left on this sheet and I was just flicking through all of my other headers and there was hardly any. So as you can see I'm just like chucking them all on. Um, so in the end I went with my sheet from the bullet journal kit and then I just use the same food icons all the way throughout the week just to make that so it's kind of matching and then I was going to use different TV icons from whatever ones that I had left on my kit. So for Monday I have got Deadliest Catch on and that was the only thing that I was going to be marking. So for Tuesday I wanted to use one of these but first coffee stickers from Paper Chic which has changed it to Paper Chic Plans but I just wanted to find something to put behind it so I was deciding whether to put washi and in the end I did go with it but I changed this up completely because it wasn't going to look right. I was trying to put green on so then it matched from Monday's green but I decided just to go back to my washi from my bullet journal kit and layer it on that way. I also wanted to do a little bit of online shopping so I took one of these to do short checklists by Paper Sheet Plans and I just wrote down things that I wanted to buy online and then I also needed to do a food shop while I was online as well so that label, the green label is from Vintage Rose Studios as well as that kind of shopping trolley that's from the same place as well. Then I went and stuck in my full box, I actually had seven full boxes but I didn't find my seventh one until a bit later so I thought I only had six which is why I didn't put one on the Monday because I didn't want to use them all up but underneath my full box I put another glitter half box because I wanted to work on some new sticker designs and I just put a little happy pop it down down and then my little things header. I've also got a TV program on which was Scandal and then for Wednesday I decided to use the two pieces of glitter washi so they matched and then this freebie was from Project Plan and I just used the half box because it was the perfect blue and I just wrote down that my daughter has got a school drama trip on this day. And then I took a icon from Planable Design Sheet and it's just got two tickets on because it's a drama theatre trip so that kind of matched pretty well. Now I'm just going to go and decide which full box I'm using and I use this one from Project Plan because it's really pretty and it kind of matched perfectly with this kind of bluey green spread I've got going on and then underneath there I stuck an appointment label with one of these nope poppets because my children need to do homework and that's their reaction every time I say we need to do homework they're like nope. 
Then I went back to project plans freebie and just took this little page flag and then beside that I needed to mark down that I wanted to film next week's mock spread. So I don't know if you guys have seen the mock spread that I put up on Friday but now I'm going to be uploading mock spreads nearly every Friday so whenever I have a new kit out in my shop I will be uploading a mock spread with it. So if you guys haven't seen that then definitely go and check that out. So I wanted to mark down that I was going to film that on Wednesday this week and that obviously I needed to edit the plan with me and then I needed to go out and post some orders and this little happy mail sticker is also from Vintage Ray Studios. Flipping over to the next part of the week, I'm just going to put all of the headers down. I think I'm really lucky that I did have a full set of headers because that's something that's kind of made this look like a real kit or a real spread. But I knew some of the full boxes had some pink in there so I decided to use one of my checklists from my bullet journal kit because it's got a slight tint of pink in the background and my full box has got pink in as well and because I'd used mostly blues and greens I knew I definitely needed to pull a little bit of pink in from somewhere so that's why I used that checklist. And then underneath I just used a heart little thing and then put my full box down which is from Project Plan. And then on top of that I just put a half box because I'm actually meeting up with my sister on this day for some lunch. I also used an icon which has got the clinking glasses because normally we have maybe a glass of wine when we meet up or two. Underneath I put a to buy because I knew I'd want to pick up a few things while I was out with my sister and I didn't like how heavy the grey checklist looked so I used this short heart checklist from project plans freebie I couldn't think why I was saying then underneath I put my littles header and then I realized I hadn't put my meals down so I just put them all the way down first and then I went back up to put my little things down and here's where I'm trying to find something that I can use for tv programs because I don't think I had any tv programs left that would match I mean I had that brown one there but it really wouldn't go so I used one of the house icons because my children also had to do some homework and then I thought I would use one of these filming kind of headers I know that that's probably weird but I use that as my tv icon little thing I can't speak English today for Friday it's obviously my new release day and last week I think it was I used one of the movie marquees so I decided to do it this week again but I was just seeing what kind of full box I wanted to use on this day. So I just put down the movie marquee and just wrote down a new release and then I realised that I hadn't even filled out the bits on the Thursday so I quickly went back and just added a few bits there before carrying on with the Friday. I put a half box down because Friday is when I upload my mock plans or my mock plan with me so I'm just trying to find a page flag which I did end up finding in my bullet journal kit one. I used the green one just to pull in a little bit of green and then on this freebie here which is from Vintage Row Studios there's a colourful planner which has got a lot of green on and pink so I decided to use that because the colours kind of matched perfectly. And then underneath I wanted to do my to-do section and I was trying to find something like a half box or something that I could write on and I actually ended up finding this quarter box which was also on the Vintage Rose freebie sheet which has got like a little bow paper clip on there, it's kind of adorable. And I'm actually working on a secret project and I'm so excited to be able to tell you guys about it but not quite yet, it's still a secret but just know something very exciting is coming. Underneath I wanted to mark down that I was having a laundry day and there was a laundry day sticker on the Vintage Rose Studios sheet that I had and then I was moving on to my little things but I did want to write down a list because I'm going off to the city on the Saturday so I moved my little things header down and then put this appointment label down just to write down and remind myself that I needed to write a list. And then moving on to the weekend, it wasn't until I got to this point I realised I do not have a weekend banner. So I just used two pieces of washi from Vintage Rose Studios as well as this full box is from there as well which has got like a little pineapple on which has still got green and a little bit of pink. And then I used a piece of washi and the But First Coffee sticker from Paper Chic Plans. And now I'm just trying to find something because obviously I needed to mark that I was going up to the city and I didn't have any half boxes left so I'm rummaging through all of my stickers and then in the end I actually decide to lay down a lot of washi and I use the plain washi to make almost like a half box size and then on top of that I put a label or an appointment label from Vintage Rose Studios and just wrote Norwich down. The car sticker is also from Vintage Row Studios as well and the reason that I used the mustard colour washi was to try and pull in some of that mustard yellow colour from the paper clip on the Friday and then to extend it a little bit more I also used the mustard colour 
checklist and it really did not look right it was the only big kind of orangey color in this spread so I ended up taking it completely off and then using some of the washi from my bullet journal kit in the pink to put a little bit more pink on this side and then just use the same icon and the same car I just changed it all up a little bit and also changed the hot checklist down at the bottom for a mint color so for Sunday I just put down my full box and this one says every day is a fresh start and then I put my to-do header down with a checklist that matched and it's just the usual get stuff ready for school and then as I was filling it all out my battery died on my camera so you did miss me filling that out and then I just added two poppets on one on the sister lunch it was like a little love poppet from the love sheet and then a happy poppet on my new release and then going back to the Sunday I just put a full box down to fill up quite a lot of the gap that was there and I wanted to film next week's plan with me and then at the bottom there I just put down obviously that I needed to edit the plan with me and then moving on to do our sidebar, I used two pieces of the glitter washi in the green kind of colour as a background behind this full box here. It's my last full box and it's got lots of planners and a mobile phone on it and I kind of think that that's adorable. I don't know why but I'm very drawn to it. And then underneath I'm just trying to find two habit trackers and I found these ones which matched the headers that I've been using. So that again was actually pretty lucky for me. And then I used the last glitter washer. Glitter washer? Mmm glitter washi header no it's a glitter header so I really I'm sorry guys I need more coffee I put down two habit trackers one was the blue and one was the mint and then I was looking through and I didn't have a next week header because I always use the next week header so I took one of the house icon headers and also a weekly checkbox and then as for the big gap that's left in the sidebar, I ended up using um, the only patterned washi that I had left that would make almost like a picture was my camera washi from the On Wednesdays We Wear Pink kit. So that filled up a little bit of the gap that was left and then right at the bottom I literally had nothing else. I didn't have any other washi or any deco at all because I always use my deco. So I knew I was going to be using rolls of washi along the top where I would normally use the washi that comes in a kit. So I would just fill in down there with the same washi. So the two washi rolls that I have, one is a blue. It's not quite a glitter washi but it's definitely got glittery parts in it. And I just trimmed them down as I usually would with a ruler and my craft knife because I still cannot find my hobby craft card. I am running out of places to look. It's silly, it has to be here somewhere. But um, I'm just using a ruler which is exactly the same thing as using my hobby craft card. It's just a straight edge so I've got something to cut against. And I always make my washi the same width so where my box ends on the week and where they start that's where I will cut the washi. And then I took the mint green washi and just put it down at the bottom to cover in that end gap and then I just trimmed it again with my knife. And then as I said there's no deco left at all anywhere because I use every piece of deco every time. So I decided to take a hole punch which is actually in the shape of a star and I just used the same mint green washi and I just stamped out a couple of the stars and then stuck them down in the gaps as like a decorative full box. Then I just went and added the dates along the top and because the mint green washi is kind of see-through you can see the days of the week that are still written there so I just literally added the dates. And then lastly I stamped out a few more hearts and then stuck them along the top there on the washi. So that was it for this week's spread. I know it doesn't look like a perfect spread but it is using leftover stickers so it's always a good idea to keep hold of any stickers that you have left over in case you're ever stuck on a week and you've got no stickers you can always use those. So if you like this video then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on Monday with my next mock spread. Bye guys!